My worst arguments ever debunked by a fanatic. Hey, it's Prince of Queens, and maybe you saw that I had a lovely little response video made to me today by some guy I had never heard of, and you probably haven't either, who has about 15,000 subscribers, though has been on YouTube for a number of years and has like 850 videos. But let's back this up and make it a bit more general. By now, you've probably heard from a number of your favorite YouTube content creators that they find it super irritating when their audience complains about what they are not discussing, encouraging them to talk about things that they never talk about. Hey, Miss Makeup Tutorial, why don't you ever cut hair on your channel? Because she's a makeup artist, dumb fuck. Now, I'm not saying it's never a good idea for people to break out of their general patterns of creation, because it can occasionally be a really awesome thing and tends to be a pretty good thing to do just as an exercise to test how well one can compose their thoughts outside of their comfort zone. However, as hopefully you have heard by now, content creators write about what they write about not just because the familiar is easy or because of any bias, but really, mostly, content creators tend to talk about what they talk about because that's what they know the best, and they can deliver the best content around those subjects. For example, I criticize feminism and LGBT stuff because I grew up in motherfucking Seattle, came out as gay when I was 14, went to college in New York City, and lived in San Francisco Bay Area for over seven years, knowing thousands of left-wing activists for decades. I criticized the left because I realized when I saw others criticizing them that although many of those criticisms were valid, I noticed that a lot of the people criticizing the left lacked the inside scoop that I could explain in relation to the far left or radical left-wing activist types. I knew hundreds of these people personally, so I figured I could tell the tale. That said, after repeatedly being hounded by members of my audience, pestering me about how they felt I should be criticizing the right wing more often, I decided to make a video where I did just that, and criticized what I felt are cliches in right wing economic arguments, mainly from libertarians and ANCAPs. Was it one of my better videos? No, it was probably one of my worst in terms of making sure I had covered all of the bases with the arguments presented, but I did it anyway to prove a point to my audience about the fact that I was willing to criticize the right. You can watch it if you want, I'll link it in the description. Now, if you watch it, I not only make it abundantly 110% crystal motherfucking clear that I was forcing myself to make a video about a topic that I am not particularly confident with, but more so, I said pretty clearly that the responses I was putting forth in relation to these cliches were just the typical responses. I was trying to imply that there are certain common arguments from libertarians that are a bit repetitive, and left-leaning people already have canned responses of their own to respond to these things with, because really, though I could maybe have made this more clear, I am not particularly invested in either side of this argument as an individual. I just notice it getting repetitive, and that was the point of the video, to point out the repetition. I honestly don't really know a great deal about economics, and I have never really claimed to. I have admitted numerous times on my channel that my support of Bernie Sanders was based on a number of naive assumptions in relation to his policies and the state of our economy as a whole, for example, though I do still maintain the belief that eventually we're going to live with more and more wealth redistribution as we drift towards Star Trek fantasy utopia. Hopefully. Still, I made this one motherfucking stupid goddamned video because I figured it would be a lot more worthwhile to criticize the economics of the right than it would be to criticize them in cultural terms like I generally do to the left, and again, 
I made the video because I wanted to try something different for kicks. Well, of course, as luck would have it, four months later, some jackass named Shane Killian, who has a voice which dwarves mine in annoyance level, decided to make a response video. And not only is he a moron anyway, but he decided to pull a Magdalene Burns and misrepresent my video with selective editing that he had to have known he was doing. First, he cuts out the part at the beginning where I explain my intention with the video. Then, he completely missed the humor in a joke where I said, taxation cannot melt steel beams, which maybe was an accident and he just has no sense of humor. I think that that's kind of a funny joke, right? Taxation cannot melt steel beams! Do you, do you get it? And then he kept crying like a little girl about the fact that I was using quote unquote straw man arguments from libertarians when I talked about cliches as if to imply that he does not know what a cliche actually is and that when I am talking about cliches in arguments, I will inevitably be using straw men because the entire premise of mentioning a cliche is that these arguments get repetitive. So I'm not going to mention a specific person. I'm going to talk about them in general using straw men. He even cut out one half of a sentence of mine and responded to just the first half when I used the example of ANCAP saying, who cares about those stupid roads? We can hire private companies to build roads. He included only the part where I said, who cares about those stupid roads? And then he claimed that nobody says that, which would be true if it weren't for the fact that ANCAPs do regularly mock the importance of state-funded roads with the claim that these roads could be built privately, which I said in my second sentence, which he cut out like a fucking hack. Regardless, I can't bring myself to actually watch more of this guy's videos because he's fucking obnoxious, but I can also safely assume he hasn't watched any other videos of mine because he keeps referring to me as if I'm a fucking socialist. So I'm not going to go tit for tat on any of his points besides just one. That is, when I mentioned socialized healthcare in relation to great geniuses in history and the importance of having healthcare for people with treatable mental illnesses like bipolar disorder, depression, and anxiety, he was fucking idiotic enough to say that these people should be able to hold down jobs, because they often do. No, cockhole, bipolar people, for example, generally actually cannot hold down jobs without their fucking medication, which is what often leads to them being homeless and addicted to smack without healthcare, taking all sorts of crazy drugs and talking all sorts of craziness to anybody unfortunate enough to get within 50 feet of them. So all you need to do is gather a small bit of tax dollars for their medications and hopefully we'll have another Van Gogh every once in a while, which was my point. I am not a socialist. I accept that we will need capitalism for at least quite a number of years, though I am in favor of various social programs. Regardless, I have never once denied the merits of capitalism in a single video of mine, which is one of the reasons I don't criticize the right wing all that much, because the left wing recently has largely gone full commie. But really, fuck this guy. If he has to take my admitted weakest video to argue with and still needs to selectively edit it to misrepresent my arguments, he obviously isn't worth a whole lot of my attention. But here's a message to all the people who tend to tell content creators like myself that we should be making different types of content. When you encourage people to go outside of their comfort zone and into territory where they might not be all that solid in their arguments because it is not an area where they can successfully manage 6D upside down Texas Hold'em style arguing, we occasionally might end up wide open to arguments from wackos that we'd normally be perfectly happy to ignore, like just happened to me today. Drop me a comment and stay tuned.